Hello and thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again and in today's video I will show you how you can get a BCC copy of all the emails which your users or your employees are sending or receiving without knowing their password. This, uh, before you attempt this, your employment contracts or state laws or country laws, uh, please keep those in mind. I'm just gonna uh, show you how it's possible. Uh, from the technical side of Google Apps or G Suite. So what we are going to do is we will create a rule uh, in G Suite Admin Console which means it's a server-side rule which will be applied before users receive an email. Uh, and the rule will say something like if any email coming to my domain or going outside from my domain a copy of that email should also go to one of your email addresses on which you want to receive the BCC copy. So let's go ahead and, and, and see how it works. So for that first step is to log into your G Suite admin console. If you don't know where is that and how to do that, here is a quick tutorial on how to log in to your G Suite admin console. and once you're in Gmail, if you're if you are a G Suite administrator, you will see the link manage this domain here, and you can also click on the nine square boxes and click on admin to go to your G Suite admin console. Click on that, and once you are in your G Suite admin console, next step is to find content compliance. Uh, rule option where you can create this rule. So for that we will go to apps and under apps we will click on G Suite. Under G Suite we will click on Gmail because this rule will be applied on the email and then scroll down and click on advanced settings because this is like a advanced level setting. Once you are in advanced settings either you can scroll down or simply search in the search setting for content compliance so right here and so far we don't have any we are gonna create one click on configure and let's create our first policy here first thing is to put some description and it's as you see it's required so if you don't put it Google will not allow to save it so I'm gonna put like BCC copy of all users uh, will be sent to it, it, it's my email address to this one now this is just a description so you, you can put whatever you want for your reference now first thing is to define the scope of your rule uh, whether this policy or this rule will be applicable on inbound or outbound or both and so on so just to quickly uh, tell you inbound is any email which is coming from outside your domain to your domain or to your users outbound is any email which your users are sending to anybody who is outside your domain internal sending is like when your users are sending uh, emails to each other so you send it to your colleague and so on internal receiving same thing so you can you can either apply it on any one of these or all of them for my reference I'm just gonna apply it for inbound and outbound I don't want it to be applied on internal sending and receiving second uh, step is to uh, create the expression or the trigger for this rule w what would happen which will make this rule run so for that we will create a trigger by clicking on this add when you add you will see a couple of options here uh, select the advanced content match and then it will give you the different options for here in the location we have option to look for that specific content in the headers or body and subject and so on uh, you should click on full headers because we don't want it to be applied on the body uh, so in the headers we will keep the contains text and we will put the content which we will be looking for. Now one thing which will be common when your users are sending emails outside your domain or when they are receiving from outside the domain 
is the domain name itself. So if my domain is goldiarora.com, when my people send email to somebody outside, the sender header will 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 have the goldiarora.com because that's their email address. And when somebody is sending from outside, the recipient header will have one of our employees' email, which ends up in the domain name. In my case, it's goldiarora.com. So what you should put here is your domain name. Uh, because that will be present when your users either send or receive emails on behalf of your domain. So put your domain name here and click Save. And now uh, we have configured the trigger. It's time to configure uh, or set up the action. So what should happen when this, this is triggered? So we will scroll down and click on Add More Recipients because that's what we want to do. When this triggers, send an email, a BCC copy to one of the other addresses. So add more recipients and then click add here. Now one option is to simply put like the email address. For example, I want all the BCC copies to come on this email address. If I just leave it here and save it, save the setting, it will work. No issues with that. But the problem is uh, there will be no differentiation in the in the email subject so it will be hard for me or the person who is going to get all the BCC copies to differentiate between his own emails and these BCC emails and for that we will go with advanced settings so here instead of basic click on advanced and or advanced, just scroll down a bit, and here you will see something called prepend custom subject. Click on this, and then here you can add anything which you want Google to prefix to the subject line. So the the subject line is, uh, you know, whatever. You can prepend something to that subject line so that you can differentiate between those BCC copies and your own emails. So I'm just going to put, uh, let's say, these two brackets, BCC copy, bracket close. Now, you can put anything here. Just make sure that this will be added before the subject line of these BCC emails. Your own emails will not be impacted with that. So once you do that, scroll up a bit, and here, click on Change Envelope Recipient replace recipient and put the email address on which you want to receive the BCC copy. In my case it's g at .com. Once you do that, just scroll down, make sure you save your rule and then click on add setting. Now I see my content compliance rule here which I just created. It's time to save that. So I'm going to click on save and my rule is now saved. So now it's time to do some testing. I have this user mailbox which is work at the rate goldieadora.com. I'm gonna send an email to this email address from my personal uh, Gmail account. I delete this account should get email as usual but a copy of this should also go to my other email account which I defined when we created the rule. So I'll go to my personal Gmail mailbox and send an email to this ID. Let's call it test. Send it. This account got an email as usual. Nothing indicates that somebody is monitoring the emails. But if I go to now g at goldieroro.com, if you look at the subject, instead of just test, it has a prefix which we defined. So now you can easily identify or differentiate the emails which are coming as BCC but to make uh, my life more easier I will just create uh, a filter with this and put all these emails into one label. So I'm gonna copy this subject which is BCC copy which will be there in all the emails and let's create a filter. For, uh, let's say if any email has this subject, create a filter with this search. And I will skip the inbox actually. I don't want my inbox to be flooded. I should rather straight away send them to a new label. 
which I will say BCC copy emails of users create so that it should skip the inbox directly put that in this label and I will say apply this to existing conversations to and create a filter now if you go to your mailbox that is no more in my inbox it will be directly in this BCC copy so here you can you can find all the BCC copy email plus if you want to search within this label just click here and in the search you should have this label selected and then you can search within these emails if you want hope it was helpful if you have any questions feel free to put comments but just in case if you want this rule to be applied on a subset of users not all users then what you can do is you, these are if you see here these are called organizational units which you can create uh, simply by going to users and you can just click on this primary one and add sub organization so add an organizational unit and then put users into that unit and then create that rule by selecting that specific unit and then that rule will only be applied to the users who belong to this organizational unit rather than all of your users uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to put comments and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much.